In February 2017, when President Kufado delivered his very first address, he committed to ensuring that some key legislations are laid in Parliament. Seven years on, the Affirmative Action Bill is yet to be passed by Parliament. The Office of the Special Prosecutor has been established, but there are still concerns of rife corruption amid stagnated performance on global corruption perception rankings. His pledge of getting the asset declaration law amended is yet to be achieved. On the economy, despite the sharing of rescuing it and restoring fiscal discipline, Ghana's economy nearly crashed, forcing government to seek a $3 billion support from the IMF, contrary to government's own pledge of not returning to the IMF. The IMF described Ghana's debt levels as reaching unsustainable levels with a call for fiscal discipline. In 2018, the president was back in parliament. He told the House he would make the position of MMDCs an elective one. Another ambitious decentralization exercise is the expansion of full democracy to local government. A critical step to this end is the direct election of metropolitan, municipal, and chief district chief executives on a partisan basis. I'm also pleased to report that the three-year IMF-supported extended credit facility program begun in 2015, comes to an end this year. MMDCs are still not elected. Initial attempts were made, but government abandoned the push following a lack of consensus on whether such polls should be on partisan basis. The 2019 address looked at the transport sector, key projects and transforming NEMA into a well-laid-out residential area. Government recognizes the significance of aviation, to our country's economic and social development. Operations of the Kumasi, Tamale, Takradi airports have been revamped with the resurgence in domestic airline operations. The flag of Ghana will be flown again as we have identified strategic investors to launch a home-based carrier. The then Finance Minister, Ken Furiata, told Parliament a shareholder and partnership agreement had been signed with the operationalization of a national airline expected to begin in 2023. This has still not happened. The Saglemi housing project is still yet to be completed, with a new works and housing minister indicating he has been taxed to complete it. Nima, the president's own neighborhood, has not been transformed into a well-laid-out residential area. Other addresses came with more promises. We've made significant strides over the last three years in our fight against corruption, despite of the, the skepticism of people with questionable records. We've strengthened the legal framework to fight corruption with the help of this house. 12,000 Shanghai machines that go on the river and scoop up the riverbed were seized and destroyed on site. Some excavators were also seized. A number of them have gone missing. The police have arrested and charged some of the alleged culprits, and investigations are ongoing. Illegal mining persists in Ghana, with many forest reserves invaded and destroyed since the president's address. No one has been prosecuted for the theft of the seized excavators. On dealing with corruption, despite increased budgetary allocation and passage of new laws, perception of corruption is still high. Ghana's score on the Corruption Perception Index has remained at 43 since 2020. Judith Brown, TV.